basi na wakaribisha tena our viewers our followers our partners wote ambao tunafuatilia kuhusu hii taifa ukisoma Yohana 8 32 maandiko inasema kwamba mtajua ukweli na ukweli utawaweka uru. kwa hivyo tuko katika safari ya kujua ukweli kuhusu hii taifa sasa nataka nimkaribisha aposto tuendelee na safari ya kujua ukweli kuhusu taifa la Kenya karibu aposto Shalom 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 ninawasalimia nyote katika china la Yesu Kristo tunaendelea na pale ambapo tuliachia tuliachia wakati ule mwingine Niliwaambia haya ni mambo ambayo hayana budi kufanyika Mimi ni Apostle Nicholas Mwongela IDCC Katangini hapa mnaona tuko ni Mount Zion Emmanuel Prayer Center mlima ambao uko kwa process uko kwa, uko kwa process unaendelea kujengwa na unakuwa haraka sana hayo ni mambo kila mmoja wenu amejua ni maana ilikuwa ni mwezi wa ine niliondoka hapa mwaka uliopita tarehe kumi niliondoka hapa na familia yangu na nikaondoka nikiwa nimebeba ujumbe ambao ulikuwa ni wa uchaguzi. Ninataka straight away niseme haya mambo. Maandiko yanasema ya kwamba Mungu aliwatoa alitumia nabii ama alitumia mtumishi wake Musa. Bila wengine utamuita mumuita Musa, mumuita mtu kwaani, mumuita mtumishi wa Mungu, lakini alitumia nabii akawatoa akamtuma Misri ama mtumishi wake mwita tu hivyo mtumishi wake ili aende akawatoe wana wa Israeli katika utumwa wao Mungu amepanga maisha ambayo mnaona tunaishi hakuna jambo inatokanga Mungu hapa nyuma wapendwa viongozi na wale watu wote mnaonisikiliza kuna mpango Mungu ako nao na taifa letu la Kenya. Na ninashangaa maana kama wahubiri wenzangu mikutano imewekwa kila mahali. Mimi nimeenda conference mingi sana kutoka hata kabla sijaoa. Na nimeoa sasa niko kwa ndoa karibu miaka ishirini na moja. Nimeenda mikutano mingi na conference mingi sana. Shingini simeandaliwa kutoka hapa katika hapa injini Singine simeandaliwa siliandaliwa na kusanyiko la wachungaji wanakuja pamoja kibishos bishos maposos na evangelista vitu kama zile na singine siliandaliwa silikuwa hata silihusisha wahubiri wa mataifa ya nje wanakucha na wote walikubaliana kwa kitu kimoja wanasema kwamba kulingana na neno la Mungu na pia kile Roma takatifu anaongea kwamba Kenya hii bendera mnayoiona hii taifa la Kenya maana ina bendera ya Kenya kwa hivyo wote wanakubaliana kwa mambo moja kwamba Kenya ni taifa Mungu ameichagua ili kupitia Kenya uvuvio ama revival ama kupitia Kenya Mungu akafikia mataifa yale mengine Afrika imebahatika kuwa na taifa la Kenya ndani yake. So automatically Africa becomes a great continent before the eyes of God. Better the end of a matter than its beginning. Najua kuna wakati tumeimba kwamba kulikuwa na wakati wa Europe, UK, Britain, huko Germany, kule kote. Hata huko ndio kina Paulo wale wako kwa Biblia alikuwa anatembelea kule Italy na uko Rome lakini kafika wakati maana kila siku siku sinasonga mbele kurudi kwa Yesu Kristo mpango wa Mungu aliyowekea mwanadamu unaendelea kusonga mbele na kujivunua kila siku miaka ya 1900 na makali ya 19 kila jambo la Ukristo ambayo ilikuwa ni kana kwamba ndio watu wanaangalia kama kalenda 
ama wanataka kusikia kujua Mungu anaongea nini. Karibu kila kitu ilitoka kule United States of America. Hapo ndio wahubiri wengi walitoka East formations apostolic formations na vitu kama zile. Lakini kile ninashangaza ni kwamba karibu wote walikuja kwa taifa letu. Na wote wanasema kitu kimoja. Kila mtu akisikia, Kenya sio taifa la kawaida. Ni taifa limechaguliwa na Mungu ili lizalishe makusudi yake. Wakati kama huu. Wapendwa nasikia waswahili wakati mwingine wanasema zia yawi yawi sio wanasema wanasema anga namna gani yawi jama wanasema namna gani ah tutoke pale wacha niweke kwa perspective ya maandiko inasema hivi ngalatia ngelesians chapter 4 verses 4 when the fullness of time had come ngelesians chapter 4 and the verses 4 When the fullness of time had come Jesus Christ was born Ukisoma Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 11 The Bible says God makes everything beautiful in his own appointed time Ukisoma tena na nitasoma hiyo nataka kuwasomea mstari wote not just quoting that scripture <coughs> I'm laying foundation today I want to get deeper to where we left concerning what the happenings in our nation and what we are expecting and what is going to what is going to follow after whatever whatever good or evil plan whatever wengine mnaangalia mnaona ai na hii itakuwa namna gani na hii kifanyika kutana namna gani don't panic this is a journey of acquiring the truth we preserve the truth and we transmit the truth undiluted and defiled maana kuna wale watu wanaishi katika ignorance ambayo ni mbaya sana ignorance ama kule kujifanya utai kujua mambo inapofanyika ni mbaya sana Ningependa usikie kwanza hii roho ya ignorance vile ni mbaya. Nitasoma 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verses 1. Moreover brethren, I do not want you to be unaware that all our fathers were under the cloud. All passed through the sea. All were baptized unto Moses into the cloud in the sea. All ate the same spiritual food and all drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Christ. Listen to us five ignorant men ignorant believers ignorant preachers ignorant kenyans and even africans and whoever whoever operates under this spirit of ignorance wale watu hawataki kujua wakiona mambo yanaendelea hata kama wengine mswahili anasimama anasema ukiona vyaelea jua vimeundwa wao wanaona merikebu ambayo iko pale inaelea katika machi na unaona tu inaelea hivi hivi hapana ni kitu kimeondwa kimekaliwa chini kuna yale matukio inaendelea katika taifa letu na sitaki muwe ignorant kenyans i am here some man of god i'm sent to you at time like this and i 
told you, according to John chapter 8, verses 32, what Jesus told his disciples was that they shall know the truth. So for you to know the truth, the truth has to be taught. You have to come from somebody or even discover something like that. So I'm here speaking on behalf of God. God is not the author of confusion. I know we have a generation where everybody, whereby everybody feels equal with the other. And then, just as I said, people are picking some portion of scriptures to suit what they want to portray or to proclaim or to suit the projects that they have. And that is why I say, when unconverted believers quote the scriptures, kwanza unatumia neno la mungu, ili to share kwa yale mawagu unataka kufanya. Ata uke itumia kwa minanjilio. Kile neno la mungu linasema, the word of God can never be broken. Nataka uskie, Ignorant people. Verses 12, the Bible says, But with most of them, God was not pleased, was not well pleased, for their bodies were scattered in the wilderness. Now these things became our examples. To the intent that we should not last after evil things and say also lasted. Verse 7. We are reading 1 Corinthians chapter 10 from verse 1. Verse 7. And I do not become idolaters. Musiwa watu wa kuabudu miungu mingine ama masanamu. For our God is a jealous God. As we are some of them as it is written, the people sat down to eat and the drink, and are all up to play. Pastor said, nor let us commit sexual immorality, as some of them did, and in one day, 23,000 fell. Verses 9, nor let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted, and we are destroyed by the serpent. So those who, those who tempted, those who tempted Christ, I want you to have it right. Wale ambao Mara mingi sana sana pande hii yetu hawaubiri kuna watu kidogo kidogo tu na walokole kidogo kidogo ambao na wafananisha si watu lokole wote wambaya ama waubiri wote wambaya Mungu ni na wabariki wale waubiri na manambii wa injilisi na wachungaji na hata wa, wa lokole ama believers wa kawaida ambao mnaelewa ni nini Mungu anafanya na muna suwata kupasivu mambo kutoka katika ulimwengu. Katika moja wandani kupitia romu takatifu. Lakini hii yada kwa those ignorant pretenders and hypocrites in the gospel or in the house of the law. Kwa miaka mingi mumeishi kusama kwamba siyasa iwachiwa wana siyasa. I am not politicking. I am giving direction according to God. What should be done and what should not be done by all of us leaders, whether political or whether spiritual, whatever capacity, your leadership, your wongozi, ama unashikilia, aikubi ruusha wende inche ya mipango ya buwana. Buwana kono mpango na taiva la Kenya. Tumeimbiwa uwa wimba tumetosheka kusikia. I said God prepared me for 40 years. I am ready for the mission. I rose up from last year, 10th of April. I 
rose up. And because the way of the cross is foolishness to them that are perishing, but it is the power of God unto salvation. When I started the journey, so many of you were confused. So many of you, they never knew what is going to happen with this wrath of a man walking on foot almost 160 kilometers together with his wife and the children and walking on the road. It was sunny and this man walking and saying, God has sent me. And I have a, 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 I have a word for you, Mr. President Uru Kenyatta. I also said very clearly, while I am bowing to the other channel, the Apostle Nicholas Mungela, before you comment anything, go back one pale safari liansia. I love me, me see while I want to announce my kaki to come out. Ata maubiri yangu iko in series. Nina ubiri part one, two, three, four. Ata wakati mungine. Nina waka part moja mbaga tisa safari mocha. Na na waka zote. Man, I'm not here just to build a channel. I'm just not here to wash up. Ile siku ikwishe. Ile ni tatwe kama mtu ambaye. Ata ye ya naongea katika. Katika YouTube, ama katika social media. If that was the case, mimi napenda kufanya mangu mbangu kifu yangu na kutulia. Lakini sikieni ni wambie.